explaining you Excel with the help of uh, event study methodology. So the thing is that we need to have some basic theoretical understanding on what event study is before handling it on Excel. So here I will be trying to explain what, what exactly is event study. So uh, this particular event methodology was actually profounded by uh, American authors Brown and Warner in the year 1980. They profounded the theory of event study methodology. And after that, there has been various modifications, various changes in that particular methodology by various authors. So intact on the base, basically this is, and we are examining the impact of an event. So there are various types of event. There. means you might be uh, familiar with corporate actions like dividends, or you might be familiar with bonus issues, uh, these kind of events. So these are particular events. And in event study, what we try to do is we study the impact of happening of an event. For example, if a dividend is being announced, we study whether the announcement of a dividend has an impact on the stock prices of that particular uh, company. For example, I uh, am Reliance on the company in Urus announce a dividend issue JM Poa. E dividend issue JM Poa and all announcement in Edengilum DD stock stock price, our stock price, Reliance in the stock prices affected JM Nondo. It basically even studies is about and uh, even studies reveal how uh, as a security react to a given event. For so example, an dividend announce a stock market la company react to So this is basically what event study is. And uh, coming into the next slide, uh, theoretically, a stock price takes into account all available information and expectations about the future. This is because uh, efficient market in the information market will reveal like Apol Tane our stock price will impact out in the efficient market in the example of Parayuanangal, Russia Ukraine crisis one. Russia Ukraine crisis in the now declaration of war, Russia declaration of war, Narthi Kayum Boltane, Otane than our stock prices will impact very under and it corrects after the next day. Your process correct at Narakan under we can say that the market is efficient. So event study, you know, we have, in event study, we try to check whether the market is efficient or not. So the market, so you add the slides that I'll be explaining what event study methodologies. This is because your uh, basic understanding is very important for understanding how we do it in Excel. This is stock reliance in the case they have a normal return. That is a usual return which happens if nothing uh, special happens. So a special announcement, change, there is a normal return. And any return over and above, or it can be above or below, different than this normal return is called abnormal return. So that is what we check by event study methodology. We, we try to check whether there is an abnormal return in the stock market. So the different and the difference between the actual impact, actual return and the normal return is what we call as abnormal return and that I will explain it with statistically how it is being done using Excel. So um, in this uh, there are some terms which you need to understand before studying it uh, practically that is the first one is estimation window. Estimation window is nothing but uh, which is the period which we use to calculate the uh, normal return. Your uh, diagram will for example, which I am the same we can take the same example of Reliance announcing the dividend. So, if example today is uh, 29th of um, April and which uh, today assume that today the Reliance has uh, announced that they are going to issue their dividend. So here uh, this today today is the event day. 29th April would be the event day, and event day we would be denoting it by the number zero. So here you can see in that that zero is the announcement day. And there they are normal return. The normal case we have normal return calculate here. Now we normal return calculate here. Now we have past for the diverse the basis of matter we have your normal return calculate here. But our normal return calculate here. Now we estimation window. So here. Estimation window, your, your graph is just an assumption. Estimation windows would be different for each studies. But for this particular diagram, I would say that the estimation window is from minus 11 to minus 250. That is uh, from 11 days prior to the announcement day. 
സോ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഇപ്പോൾ ട്വൻ ഇന്ന് ട്വൻറ്റി നയൻത്ത് ആണെങ്കിൽ പ്രായ ട്വൻറ്റി ലെവൻ ഡേയ്സ് പ്രായ ടു ട്വൻറ്റി നയൻത്ത് ആൻഡ് ടിൽ മൈനസ് ടു ഫിഫ്റ്റി ഈ ഒരു പീരീഡിലെ ഡേറ്റ് റിട്ടേൺ അനുസരിച്ചാണ് നമ്മൾ നോർമൽ റിട്ടേൺ കാൽക്കുലേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ആൻഡ് ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഇസ് ദ ടേം ഇസ് ദറ്റ് ഇവൻറ്റ് വിൻഡോ സോ ഇവൻറ്റ് വിൻഡോ ഇസ് നത്തിങ് ബട്ട് സം ഡേയ്സ് പ്രായ ടു ദ ഇവൻറ്റ് ഡേ ആൻഡ് പോസ്റ്റ് ടു ദ ഇവൻറ്റ് ഡേ സോ ഹിയർ ട്വൻറ്റി നയൻത്ത് ഇസ് ദ ഇവൻറ്റ് ഡേ ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് വി ഡി നോട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ബൈ ദ നമ്പർ സീറോ സോ പ്രായ സോ ഇൻ ദിസ് പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ഡയഗ്രാം വി ക്യാൻ സേ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് മൈനസ് ടെൻ ടു പ്ലസ് ടെൻ സോ മൈ മൈ ടെൻ ഡേയ്സ് പ്രായ ആൻഡ് ടെൻ ഡേയ്സ് പോസ്റ്റ് ദി ഇവൻറ്റ് സോ ദീസ് ആർ ദ സം ടേംസ് വി വിഷ് യു ഡു ടു കീപ്പ് ഇൻ മൈൻഡ് ആൻഡ് നൗ ഐ വിൽ ഈ ആൽഫാ ബീറ്റ ഒന്നും കണ്ട് പേടിക്കേണ്ട ബിക്കോസ് ഇതൊരു സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്കൽ ആസ്പെക്ട്സും കൂടെ പറഞ്ഞിട്ടേ ഇതിൻ്റെ പ്രാക്ടിക്കലി എനിക്ക് കാണിക്കുള്ളൂ ഇപ്പോൾ ഈ ഒരു ഒരു ഫ്ലെയിമർ ടു തൗസൻഡ് ട്വൻറ്റി വണ്ണിൽ ഒരു ഇറ്റ് വാസ് എ പേപ്പർ ടു ചെക്ക് വിത്ത് ഗ്രീൻ ബോൺസ് ഹാസ് ആൻ ഇമ്പാക്ട് വിത്ത് ഗ്രീൻ ബോൺസ് ക്രിയേറ്റ് ആൻഡ് അപ്നോർമൽ റിട്ടേൺസ് ആൻഡ് ഹി യൂസ്ഡ് ദിസ് പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ മെത്തഡോളജി സോ ഇതിൽ ഐ അസ്യൂം ദറ്റ് യു ഓൾ നോ വാട്ട് ഈസ് റിഗ്രഷൻ ആൻഡ് ഓൾ റിഗ്രഷൻ ഇസ് നത്തിങ് ബട്ട് വി ട്രൈ ടു ഫൈൻഡ് ദ റിലേഷൻഷിപ്പ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ടു സിമ്പിൾ ലി ഇഫ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ സിമ്പിൾ ലീനിയർ റിഗ്രഷൻ വി കെ ചെക്ക് വിത്ത് ദ റിലേഷൻഷിപ്പ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ടു വേരിയബിൾസ് that is one will be the independent variable and the other will be the uh, dependent variable so in this particular methodology the independent variable would be the market return and varna ipo market return ipo india il nammal market return nu parayunnathu nifty nifty we consider it as the market return and for and the dependent variable uh, would be the firm return so e yoru i'll try to explain with this formula here this is uh, this is the daily return of the form rit is the daily return of the form plus is equal to alpha plus beta into market return plus epsilon so here alpha um you uh, school like regression la basic formula you learned know, y is equal to ax plus c and what is same formula this is the same applicable here as well so alpha is nothing but the constant which uh, independent variable uh, zero anengil oru return namaku kittu and market return zero anengil there would be some amount of firm return so that is what we term it as Uh, alpha and it is constant at all levels and beta um, we can term it as the degree of influence so uh, while talking about um, the simple linear regression uh, there is a connection between this dependent independent variable and dependent variable so if for example i tell you the independent variable change cheyumbo etra proportion vech change cheyumbo adil etra yana dependent variable move cheyunu so ipo oru rupee kooduvana engil മാർക്കറ്റ് റിട്ടേൺ ഒരു ഒരു വൺ റുപ്പി വെച്ച് കൂടുക ഫേം റിട്ടേണും വൺ വൺ റുപ്പി വെച്ച് കൂടുകയാണെങ്കിൽ വി ക്യാൻ സേ ദാറ്റ് ദി ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ പ്രോ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ സോ ബട്ട് ഇഫ് യു ക്യാൻ സേ ദാറ്റ് ഇഫ് സീറോ പോയിൻ്റ് ഇഫ് യു സേ ദോ മാർക്കറ്റ് റിട്ടേൺ ഇൻക്രീസ് ബൈ വൺ ആൻഡ് ദ ഫേം റിട്ടേൺ ഇൻക്രീസസ് ബൈ ടു ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് ദാറ്റ് ഫോർ എവ്രി യൂണിറ്റ് ഓഫ് ചേഞ്ച് ഇൻ മാർക്കറ്റ് റിട്ടേൺ ടു യൂണിറ്റ്സ് ഓഫ് ഫേം റിട്ടേൺ ചേഞ്ചസ് സോ ഈ ഒരു റിലേഷൻഷിപ്പാണ് നമ്മൾ ബീറ്റ് ആയി വെച്ച് എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ചെയ്യുന്നത് and epsilon is that um, the base uh, the, 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 we in this particular um, model we say that market is the, market return is the only factor which is going to affect the firm return and all other factors are we term there are other fac- factors as well many other factors so the determinant is residual term and that is uh, denoted by the symbol epsilon so yan nerthe or slide il yan normal return da karyam parna appi normal return പല രീതിയിൽ നമുക്ക് ഒരു ഒരു നോർമൽ റിട്ടേൺ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഒരു ഒരു ബേസ് ആണ് സോ നോ ഈ ഒരു നോർമൽ റിട്ടേൺ നമുക്ക് പല രീതിയിൽ കാൽക്കുലേറ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും സോ ഇതിന് പല ആൾക്കാർ അവരവരുടെ മോഡൽസ് പ്രൊപ്പോസ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് അത് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് നെക്സ്റ്റ് മേ ബി യു സ്റ്റഡി സെക്യൂരിറ്റീസ് ആൻഡ് അനാലിസ് ആൻഡ് പോർട്ട്ഫോളിയോ മാനേജ്മെൻറ്റ് യു വിൽ ബി അവർ ഓഫ് ദാറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ദർ ആർ മെനി എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ്ഡ് മോഡൽസ് ടു കാൽക്കുലേറ്റ് നോർമൽ റിട്ടേൺസ് ലൈക്ക് യു ക്യാൻ ഹാവ് സിംഗിൾ ഇൻഡെക്സ് മോഡൽ യു ക്യാൻ ഹാവ് കാപ്പിറ്റലൈസ് ക്യാപ്റ്റം കാപ്പിറ്റലൈസ് ആൻഡ് പ്രൈസിങ് മോഡൽസ് യു ക്യാൻ ഹാവ് farm of french three factor farm of french five factor so these are all uh, established models also in this particular uh, for better understanding i am be using and the model used by flamer in his paper i am using single index model so single index model the basic assumption nu arayanal or firm in the return market return which mathram an affect cheyunnanu ee or model il parayunnu so that is why i have termed it here is the rit which is again the same uh, firm return is equal to alpha alpha again i said the constant plus beta is the degree of degree of influence into market return market adapo market return is the only factor which is going to affect the firm return so that is a way which i calculate normal return so last and i
actual normal return from the actual when we subtract normal return from the actual return we will be getting the abnormal return and at last we will be calculating the we will we can we have we can have the event window is i, I explained that in, it might be from minus 10 to plus 10 so with that we can calculate the cumulative abnormal returns and we can check whether these uh, calculations are statistically significant by uh, calculating the t values so this is what basically what even study in the theoretical aspects are either basic it shall be statistically even the months pattern of months like in full but this is nothing but some of the event where you know I went to very involved or a different down bonus arm in the running law even to wear a ball number of stock market last year announcement where about stock prices in fluctuations on don't know we know can I know which way down number of for the past data for the estimation window not that near the old core those of the prices which it number of normal return calculating you know but usually it's a return fit to me the normal calculating and we check whether the uh, actual returns is over and above or uh, it, whether it is below this uh, the normal return so that is that is what we call as abnormal return it's a mother months like a body so we can I will show you it in Excel the other parts so it, um, uh, what Sahid, uh, just I can add something oh, abnormal return may be yeah. positive or negative sometimes yeah, yes, uh, yeah. sometimes uh, maybe it's abnormal lower about it positive yeah so um, what I'm trying to um, explain you today is the there is something called green bonds green bonds are nothing but uh, bonds issued for um, uh, initiating sustainable activities like for example even the uh, now things has been changing we have, we have been promoting electric vehicles and also it is very important that we have very green sustainable policy so green bonds are issued for funding these kind of projects green friendly projects so I am trying to study whether these green bonds create any kind of an impact on the stock market or uh, for example here I am going to study the analysis of REC limited REC is a rural electrification corporation limited it is uh, the PSU public sector undertaking and they had actually issued green bonds in the year 2017 so what I'm trying to st I'm trying to study whether the day on day which they issued the uh, green bond does it does it impact does it have any impact in the in their stock prices of REC limited for it so uh, as per So what I'm uh, here, these these are the list of companies for just for reference. I'm showing these are the companies that has issued green bonds in India till date. So we are going to study for it for REC Limited, and REC Limited has issued the green bonds. Means uh, we cannot say that the green bonds was issued on June 30, but the announcement of issuing that particular green bond came on June 30, 2017, and I took uh, this particular date from the references from various newspapers like financial express business standards and all so uh, these are the sources which i collected the announcement date so that is the announcement date so june 30 2017 is the announcement date, and we are going to study whether there was any abnormal returns on the date which they had issued it so here um, i have calculated i have collected in this particular sheet that is a prices sheet i have, yeah, I have we have three sheets for this analysis that is a prices sheet data sheet and analysis uh, sheet and in this sheet I have actually imported this data from Yahoo Finance that is I have imported data from 1 for 2016 that is approximate more than I one year from the date so from 1 for 2016 to uh, 28 7 2017 and for that so that is the firm return firm prices to firm crossing prices and uh, we have I have imported the adjusted crossing price and that I would like to put note it down any sort of research academic analysis we would be only considering the adjusted closing prices and it is available in uh, databases like Yahoo Finance or Provis or uh, Bloomberg and all so adjusted closing prices we take and uh, for the so this is the firm return so if from here on I would be terming, terming the uh, firm price I would be terming it as firm price and for market prices I have included it is a nifty 50 so nifty 50 or you can use sensex but nifty 50 is most uh, is wider widely accepted than sensex so i have I, I took nifty 50 as the market prices and the same for the same period that is one for 2016 to that uh, 27 7 2017 so next sheet i will be coming to the data sheet so for the in this data sheet uh, for this particular study 
as I explained that we we have an estimation window, we have an event window, and we have an event day. So event day, as I explained, that is 30th June of 2017. So there is no difference, nothing fancy on that. And coming to the event window for this particular study, I have uh, chosen is from minus five. That is five days prior to the event and 10 days post the event. So that is the event window I have chosen for this. And for estimating the normal returns, basic return. Normally, we get the return to calculate and we get the fast data which are calculating. Now, uh, this year, Kruger 2015, he has adopted this particular day. So I am also adopting the same thing. So that is from minus 21 to minus 220. So minus 21 means 21 days prior to the event to 220 days prior to the event. So that is the time estimation window which I am using in this uh, particular study. So first thing which I need to calculate. So here I have collected. So we don't need uh, for the, the data from 1 for 2016. But even though I have imported the data, but because we just need mine from data from minus 220, even though uh, it's minus 20, 220 is over here, but I have just taken 10 days prior to that so that if there is any day error in the, uh, the particular day, we can avoid it. And one more thing I would like to add here is that this my uh, this day prior to event, this trading days, it is not calendar days, it is trading days. So these are only trading days. You can see that there would be some missing dates. So that's how only the, few, the data is only available for the trading days. So the first thing which we will be first aspect statistical thing which you will be doing in excel here is i will be calculating the return so return can be calculated mostly in various ways but in this particular day study i would be using log return because especially i'm using log return because as far as uh, stock market um stock market returns are considered it is actually uh, compounded uh, more frequently rather than for example uh, if you can when you took into fixed deposits these are not compounded here uh, daily or even quarterly these are only usually compounded half yearly or quarterly or maybe yearly but stock returns are not like that is compounded frequently so i am using there are various ways but uh, in this particular study i am using the natural log so in the excel you can see that there is a function called ln so i am using that and i am dividing for this is the for the firm return firm return is that rec is return so for that i am using uh, b3 b3 is the it's over here divided by b2 So now I get the firm return for this. Now uh, you can just scroll it down by over here in this corner. From this corner, you can just scroll it down. You, know, you need not do it for all other days. You can just, you got the returns for all the days till that. So here I have marked in red the event day. That is 36, 2017 is the event day. Now we can go to the top. Now, the same way we need to calculate the log return of market as well. So there's the same thing I'm doing that is equal to L in the formula tab. I'm using LN, the function in Excel. Uh, that is um, nifty. So market return is nifty. So that is C3 divided by C2. So you get the market return as well. You can just the same way you can just scroll it down till the end. So now you get the market return as well. So here now I told that we need from minus 21 to minus 220. So from this, from I'll be using only from here the estimation window. So you get that I will be putting it as yes till minus 21. So I can just I will just highlight this portion for better understanding. So yeah, the uh, this the portion in ye yellow that is my estimation window. I would be using the data of this period that is from minus two twenty to till, till till the end of this yellow portion. I'll be using the data from here, the firm firm return market return to calculate the normal return. Now this is where uh, now the next thing which I need to do is I again here I need to calculate the alpha and beta values. So alpha and beta values are calculated with the help of a regression. So there again we need to use similarly i used ln function now i am going to use the data analytics pack in excel so this particular analysis uh, you it might be not if you have not installed it this it is an add-on 
in Excel, data analytics is an add-on. So you need to install it first if, it, if you haven't used it before. So after installing, uh, you can see over in this data tab, you will see a table called data analytics. So from the, this is the data analytics pack and from here I can choose there is a uh, option called a regression. So there is nothing fancy on it. I'm using the simple linear regression because there are only two variables here. That is the firm return and the market return. Firm return is the dependent variable. Market return will be the independent. So Y range I'm giving it as I'm putting it as the dependent variable. So from estimation window, so return is over here from over this period, this period to the end of this yellow part. Sorry. Yeah, so Y range is given. Now I need to keep the X range that I would be giving it as market return. So I want the output range shown in this particular sheet itself because it would be easy for for the reference view as well. Or if you need in other worksheet, you can give that particular. So I want the the results printed over here. So I have given that option. So output range will be printed here. If you need it in a new workbook, you can give this option. So I'm clicking OK. Now I'll get the regression results over here. Yeah, that summary output is present here so i have given it i, I got the r square r square as long as it is not negative as far as an event study is considered it is fine the the fact the only three elements are actually necessary for uh, for an event study that is the coefficients of the intercept and the x variable and the standard error only these three terms are necessary for a uh, event study methodology so just we can keep it over here and the next is the most uh, important add to sheet in this event study methodology so here i have taken the minus 5 i in the i have already explained in this sheet that i'm using the event window as minus 5 to 10 because group opted the same so i'm using minus 5 to 10 so that is my uh, that is my event window so the dates are also given the firm is rec limited the market is nifty and uh, the length of the estimation window is 200 you can see over here the observations are 200 so the estimation window. So based on the 200 trading days, I am proposing my normal return based on a sing single index model. I'm adopting the same model. So alpha here, I can so alpha value is I can add I can take it out from the regression results. So it is uh, so that you can so that you can just put equal sign over here in the formula type and click on the intercept value coefficient. So and click enter. The same would be. Uh, printed on the analysis sheet as well. See, uh, similarly, we have to find the beta value as well. beta value. Also, you can just click equal on the formula tab and click over here in the X. You can just put enter. The uh, value is printed. And standard error the same way. We need to print it over here. So standard error is directly given in our regression statistics and enter. So you get the uh, alpha value. One second. So you get the alpha value, you get the beta value, you got the standard error as well. So now you need the observed return. Observed returns are nothing but the actual returns, the actual log returns on that day. So uh, now we need to go to the even, even window the cal where we have calculated the firm uh, returns during this so that too I can just mark it yeah so this is a mm, here too so this is my event window that is minus 5 to 10 uh, minus 5 this means 0 5 days prior and 10 days post the event so here I need to take this firm uh, this is the observed return so actual return it is the same so this is what actual return they have got during these days so I need to copy this
and I need to paste it over here. So while pasting it here, you need to uh, give it paste special because there are there is a formula being applied there. So if you give uh, normal paste, it is not done. So we need to paste it special. Yeah, so it is done. So you, one second, paste special, you can give values. So the observed returns also being uh, printed over here. Now this next thing is, now I need to apply this particular formula. Now this is where the, the significance of this particular formula, that is that RIT, that is the firm return is equal to alpha plus beta into the market return. So this is where now I'm going to apply this model in calculating the normal return or expected return. So it is the same uh, normal return or expected return. So let's apply the formula here that is uh, is equal to so alpha value is already calculated here alpha plus beta beta is also given there now into the market return so market return on that uh, particular day so that we need to go into the data sheet and so market return on minus 5 is this is the value so I just click enter and you get the um, expected return or the normal return for this particular date on 22 zeros uh, 22 of 2000 uh, june 2017 so one thing which you need to understand here is because this is a sing single uh, row the particular is completely so you need to have an edit over here you just need to give dollar symbols prior to the column so the uk as you are uh, freezing it you are fixing the the same value for all the other rows as well so you just need a dollar sign for F as well as G. You get the same value and you can now you can just scroll down and you get the expected return for the um, for all the event window for each particular day. And now I'll be showing you calculation of abnormal return. Now in the slide, I also I given the formula. It's very simple. We reduce the, uh, the no, normal return from the observed returns. So here, this I'm going to apply this formula in the Excel sheet as well. So that is again, since we have done this much, it's very simple. We just give i i two minus uh, j two. So you get the normal returns, and you here over here have the abnormal returns calculated for all the uh, days. So one thing which you could do now is you can even plot a Die uh, chart with the help of uh, Excel. Like. You can see the, what are the recommended charts being shown. So let's put out the same chart over here. So here they have given, this is a chart which is depicting the abnormal returns and just change the title. So from this, uh, you can, it's, you can say that on this event day, that is zero, there has been a slight, actually a slight because even on minus one, there was a negative abnormal returns, and even in minus plus one, there is a negative. But on uh, zero, that is on the event day, there is actually a positive abnormal return. But we don't know whether it is the impact of this announcement or not. That we can only check with the help of t values. So, we, but even though we can say that on that the, the, on that particular day, that is of 30 of June 2017, the day which that REC announced that they are going to issue green notes. There is a positive abnormal returns compare and uh, we, and there is also evident that in minus one it is negative abnormal returns are negative even minus even plus one the day after also it is negative so here we can say that there is a, a, a positive abnormal return on this particular day here you can see that the only day on which the you know, closed closed days to the event day we can say that only day which there is a positive abnormal return is on the event day so now I will be calculating. The t values as well so t values again it's very easy for calculating t values for us because it's just a formula we need to apply that is here that is the abnormal returns k2 the k2 divided by the standard error 
the standard error is on H. So you can click this. So I'll show you what happens if if you do it like this. So for for, the, for this particular thing, it is there. But if you scroll down, similarly, you, you will be having some sort of an error. So that is why I in the while calculating expected return also, I told you to lock the standard error bar so that so for the for that reason I am putting the dollar sign so that that particular value keeps constant at all the rows so now if you scroll down as well you will get the actual t value so t values statistically actually uh, there has been uh, various studies in this regard what are the t values which we could say that it is statistically significant so there was a paper by Oliver uh, in the year 2014 which termed as introduction to inferential statistics and in that particular paper he pointed out that if the e value is greater than 1.96 we can say that it is statistically significant at 0 0.05 percent uh, degrees of freedom so here uh, with an, an assumption which i can make or we, an inference which i can make it is actually uh, the announcement of even of green bonds actually doesn't does not have a significant um, impact on the stock market but even though there is a positive abnormal return but it could be for i may many other factors but there isn't actually a significant impact of green, green bonds being issued having a significant impact on the stock prices so this is the conclusion which i put for the uh, the for the particular event day so, so should I show them the cumulative abnormal returns as well? Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, one uh, cumulative abnormal returns are nothing but uh, we cannot uh, by calculating the abnormal returns on a particular day. That is, even day alone, we cannot say that there is because there will be an expectation in the uh, minds of the stock investors that this particular announcement is to come. So, we need to check whether there is any significant cumulative abnormal returns so that that is the why in my presentation i have told that there is we calculate the daily uh, cumulative abnormal returns as well so that again we can calculate that over here so i will just create a small table down over here so for that also we need to have some windows so we for, uh, for this particular we can try minus one to plus one as one window or we could do minus five to plus five or we can have even uh, we can just try for these two days for this because I'm just showing you so for first I'll calculate the cumulative abnormal returns so cumulative abnormal returns you can use the sum function which is there in the excel uh, data pack that is sum so for uh, you can see over here just double click on sum and uh, you need uh, minus one to plus one so it would be abnormal returns from minus one so that is over here to this period so you can just close the bracket and you get the cumulative abnormal returns for these three day uh, three days now you need to have the cumulative uh, standard error for the uh, cumulative abnormal returns as well so for calculating uh, standard error for cumulative abnormal returns also you have a formula and that is um, standard error of here we'll be using that is h uh, is equal to that is a standard error of the regression into square root into the number of days in the um, calculation of cumulative problem so minus one to plus one is three days minus one is the day zero is the day and the plus one so it is of three days so i again here we for oh, in excel we have a function is square root sqrt i'm using it with the help of that so square root three because it is of three days so you get the um, uh, standard error for cumulative abnormal returns for t value also i'm calculating it for this particular day so here i could show um, that we can calculate it by dividing the cumulative abnormal returns divided by the standard error so that uh, it's nothing fancy about that it's very easy to calculate now that is 20 one uh, that is uh, b21 divided by b22 there is an arrow over here yeah you get the t values t value is actually 
negative for this uh, particular day so that when we compare the cumulative abnormal returns of three days we can say that it is actually negative so that is also showing that there isn't an impact of uh, uh, in the stock prices because of announcement of the green bond issuance we can do it the same thing we can also do it for minus five to plus five so we can use the, again we're using the same function of sum and minus five to plus five is over here till here now again i told you we need to calculate the uh, standard error for cumulative abnormal returns as well so that that is also it's very the same way it is there in, there is nothing much different on that that is uh, we need to have uh, the standard error of the regression multiplied by but here what happens is this i'm using the square root function because that is a formula and now but the number of days would be different here so minus 5 to plus 5 means there is a days of 11 days so that is the only difference which comes here now you get the uh, cumulative abnormal returns as well so now you need to calculate the t value as well so t value uh, is now it's c21 divided by c22 so that is also actually uh, for minus 5 plus 5 also the t value comes off it's negative and we can prove that it's statistically uh, insignificant so the thing is that if uh, this particular thing for green bonds it is for, for, for especially for rec in the year 2017 in the, what happens is that in 2017 green bonds is not that familiar for anyone and investors are not that much attracted to these kind of uh, announcements so that is why you should these kind of results come out but if um, the, uh, the if it was a very profound very effective in the announcement what happens is that there would be an abnormal return on the event day that is there would be an significant abnormal return that is the t value would be above 1.96 and there would be a significant uh, abnormal uh, return positive maybe or negative it on the event day and on the next day the market automatically corrects and if the market automatically comes to the normal return we can say that the market is efficient and market is reacting to the information effectively but if it does not happen uh, we can say that the market is not reacting effectively to the information being in fact in, included into the uh, market so this is how basic so i have shown you now how graphs are being done so basic intention of showing you is that uh, i i wanted to show you how the graphs are being done using of various excel functions like log returns uh, square roots or uh, some some and locking of um, the columns for calculating for scrolling down and so these things are there then there are i will show you some other statistical so for example you need to find the median if you want to show the median mean median mode and also that is also very easy in excel that you can just use the, again the data analytics tool for example if you want to show the mean uh, median of the prices uh, of the firm that REC limited during the estimation window you can use the same uh, data analytics tab over here and there is a uh, i'm sure that you have already studied the in business analytics what is the descriptive statistics uh, preferential uh, this uh, pre predictive analytics and all so calculating uh, descriptive using descriptive statistics tool you can just give the input range so input range i'm going to include here it is from just for an example i'm showing it is not necessary for event study for the relevance of excel i'm showing that so for the estimate you during the estimation window and i'll show you the summary statistics over here so summary statistics will be displayed so yeah now you get the summary statistics it's like you get the mean what is the mean price of rec during the estimation window you can 96.6 so even you get the standard error you get the mean median mode standard division all the descriptive uh, statistics you get it is a summary and for as i said my estimation window is 200 so you get the count as 200 so this kind of data is also we can retrieve it using excel and other than that this also there are various other but as far as an event met, event study methodology is concerned these are the things which we need uh, to do in an excel so if you that's it if you want to clarify on anything you can ask me so over to you